So as you can see, the fork is leaking from the seal. Now before we move the wheel and remove the fork, we're going to have to move the brake calipers. So we're just about to see that any second now. The uh, brake calipers removed and supported with some S-hooks, uh, just to take the strain off. As you can see, we just tap the spindle out, and then we've got the uh, bike support on jack stands there, just on the roll bars. Now, what's next is, uh, we should take it obviously that's, that's a spindle that you can see there, um, or the axle, not even. Just to uh, lightly tap it out with a hammer. And just, uh, just pay attention to these spaces because one is big, and as in thick, and one is, uh, one is slightly smaller. So you're just going to have to take note of which way around they go. As you can see, the, the, the camera panning. There we go, one's bigger than yeah, the other. Just, just, um, just something to take note of. I told somebody I'll yeah, do it. Yeah, we'll back together. Uh, so the, the front mod guard needs to come off. Uh, and obviously that's a piggyback system for the, the linked brakes, which I don't like because it's a pain in the arse. And uh, they can be quite fragile, so just be very careful. Make sure they're supported at all times. Uh, hence why the calipers are supported on the What's the end of the start there? So, yeah, same as mine. Just go to mountain bracket, don't do what I did. Make sure you take yeah. that off first as you see there. I mean, I've done uh, 2,000 miles in the space of 10 days on mine. Just on idle. Uh, they're just held on by a couple of bolts front and back that bolts on at the fork stanchions. Now, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to, before you do anything, just just loosen the um, so we're gonna crack the top bolt there. This while loose it's in the bike, before we do it makes life a lot easier. Just loosen that off. Just just crack it open. See there, just a tiny bit. Just to bring that tension. And then once the fork's off, it's a lot easier. Them two. There's two uh, two bolts at the top, and then there's two bolts just at the bottom there. So all in all, there's only four really holding the, the fork in place. And it should pop out. Uh, as you can see with this mud guard. Uh, you know, the mud guard mountain bracket, just, just take it off. Take it off before you even start to try and do the fork because it just, as you can see, stupidly, you know, it's, it's just as well I left this in here so you can see what not to do. Um, but, yeah, if you give it a second, it'll, there we go, it's, it's just not going to come out. So make sure you take it off. As you can see, I'm struggling a bit there. So, so yeah, once well, once it's off, everything's a lot easier. Whatever it is, just, just to keep the bolts um, handy, I've just put them back in the fork so I don't lose them. You, you, you always have a habit of losing bolts. But some of us have a habit of ending up with more bolts than what we thought. So, so last bolt, always just keep keep that last one there. And then um, once, once it's loose, you'll see it just slides straight out. It is a bit of a tight access, so you might just have to mess about the spanner. There we go, out it comes. And again, that piggyback system on the brakes, God, just be careful, do not let caliper off that piggyback system. So I've uh, jigged up a little, uh, a little holder mechanism with a G-clamp, and I've already done this just to show you, it's nothing to be scared of, it doesn't come out with that much force. Um, like a knobhead, I was I was actually turning the knob and the stanchion was turning at the same time. But you see, there's only a tight, uh, a slight little pop when it comes off. It's it's it's, it's nothing too bad. It's not like uh, what what some of the videos you've seen just goes firing into your face and stuff. It, it doesn't do it at all. Um, so yeah, it's 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 literally just about to come off any second. And then you can see, there we go. Easy. All right. Be careful, but don't you know? Don't put your face in front of it. But yeah, it, it does. It does come off pretty easy. So you got the um, the top bolt, and then you can see I'm trying to get out the spacer uh, that comes out. Not a spacer, sorry. It's like a, a tube. It's, the spacer is like a, a washer that goes underneath that. And then uh, yeah, tip the oil out, and then uh, and just pump it a few times. That's where that's where the spring removes. You can see the metal. O-ring spacer there so, that sits on the top. top bolt. And it's all laid out in order, Jeez. so Spacing. what order you see it is the order it came Spring. out in. Um, so yeah, just be careful when you're trying to Spanch. remove the damp and rod bolt because uh, that damp little bolt you can see there, I Spanch actually fucking minced up and it took me nearly an hour to get off. Um, when bolt. I did at the the bottom placement. Uh, I should have showed that on the video actually. You see the circle clip in there? Make sure you try and take the circle clip out. Top bolt. And then uh, once your circle clips out, you just literally 
um, you know, like just to kind of do the slight hammer effect to get the uh, the oil sealing. So, yeah, I mean, it, as I said, it, get a workshop manual picture like online um, if you're in doubt, and you know, there's obviously a few bits there, but once once you see it all laid out in order, it's it's not too bad. So, yeah, just just take a screwdriver to prise that uh, dust seal off before you try and take the circ clip out, and then uh, once the circ clip's out, you should be able to just quickly grab the stanchion. And then just um, just pull back and forward, and it should just bring that oil seal with it. And then once that's out, you can drain the last of the oil. Um, you see the, the metal metal spacer. Uh, you got two bushings there. Um, these were only replaced six months ago, but one of the seals failed because of a fucking shit seal. That's my own fault. But yeah, uh, you can see that um, that damper spacer there, or the damper seat. Um, it's it's a, there's some nicks and. It's